Hi, it's John. As I said before, um, I've let the allotment get a bit out, out of hand this year. Uh, but it's not a bad idea to let things go to seed. Like um, the Swiss chard. I let the Swiss chard go to seed. And it's uh, just um, seeds have grown up here a lot amongst the Chinese artichokes. And this, and this is the area where I did a video about some rainbow chard and this is self-seeded as well. See there's some yellow and red there and some white over here and uh, they get huge leaves and it's different to spinach. Um, now one thing about about Swiss chard is you get a big leaf like that and then you've got that long white stem well, if you cut that up into uh, that inch or inch and a half lengths and steam it with it with the other, it's like two meals. So you've got the one, the stem, which is a little bit like cooked celery, and then the leaf, which is more like uh, spinach. But it does need a lot longer cooking than spinach. I, 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 I say cook it to death. Now we had some last night and put some mature cheddar grated cheese on top and it was gorgeous um, it was a meal in itself uh, so that's my message you know let things go to seed on the allotment and if you don't get round to doing the allotment you know you've got wild gardening <laughs>